guys, so I'm here in Zhezhov in Poland and I'm at a festival called Karpaty on the Fork. Today is a Sunday, so it's the final day of the festival and it's absolutely rocking today. And I found some laying there on the stage, as you can see in the center. And these guys on the left side, they're serving gulag soup. And it's the best soup I've had in my whole life. It's absolutely delicious. And many people don't know, but Poland is famous for soup. And I've been all over the world to about 65 countries. And the best soup I had was here in Poland. So I have three of these soups today. And they don't charge you, the soup is free at the festival. Let's zoom in now guys so you can see the rock band playing. So basically this is the food festival of Jezha. And it happens only one time every year. Jesz up here it's probably my favorite city in Poland the people are so friendly here and there's so many festivals going on throughout the year as well there's always lots to do so this one the children are making cakes and cookies And this one, they're selling traditional paintings by Polish artists. Some of them look fantastic, actually. I love these outdoor markets. There's some guys here dressed in sort of like military costumes as well. So here is the craft beer stand. They're selling craft beer from Poland. Many different types to choose from here. And they have nice labels on the bottles as well. Let's check the prices here. So they have six different beers on offer here. And the price is 15 zloty for a pint of beer, which is like three pounds or something. So it's a similar price to in England. So this is actually the main market square of the city. This is where it all goes on. This is where all the bars and restaurants are as well. I love this blue hammock straight, straight ahead here. I was here in August time when it was all sunny and nice. And that's a nice place to sit. It's called the Soda Bar. It um, has all the popular music on and that's the main party bar of the city. But there's lots of good bars and restaurants here surrounding the square. Straight ahead, we've got um, Caviania Radza Bar. That's a, a whiskey bar, just on the left side. With the brown sign there. And on the left side in the blue, um, that's, a, that, that's a really nice cafe with the terrace. Let's just have a look. Called Hola Lola. And I love this beautiful cobbled street. And on the right side, you've got Pialnia, Vodki Pivi. And um, Pialnia is one of the cheapest bars in the city. You can get a pint of beer for about two euros in Pialnia. And on the left side, there's the Hubertus Hotel. It's a three-star hotel. There's a terrace there as well. With Jesha up here, there's lots of places where you can sit outside and people watch. There it is, the Pionia, just there on the right side. Let's have a look through the window.
well, the decoration's quite basic, but the prices are very cheap in there. If you ever find a Pialnia in Poland, you won't spend much money in there, guys. And on the left side here, we have the Sicilian restaurant, Restaurant Sicilia. So if you want Italian food, maybe that's a good option. I've not tried it yet. And on the left side, we have the Theater Masca. The whole city is full of um, art galleries and theaters and And right now there's a lot of people here from the USA and from the UK and Europe because the, um, the military are based here, NATO are based here. So right now that's why there's so many Americans and British around here in this city. Because of its close proximity to the Ukraine, it's about one hour drive from here to the Ukraine and uh, maybe even quicker by train. But um, Southeast Poland is very beautiful. And um, if you fly into, uh, fly into Krakow, for example, it's one and a half hours on the train to get here to Zheshov. And there is the Museum Dobronosek on the left side. Uh, I think that's the Puppet Museum. Let's have a look. And the nice thing about this city is there's lots of open space and you walk around and you find all these different parks and the city is so clean. There's no litter anywhere. People are very proud of their city. So let's walk back now towards the center. And on the left side here, if you go straight ahead, you get to a good Indian restaurant, but you can't see it from here. <coughs> the city is absolutely packed with people today because of the festival. Carpati on the fork, it's called. So if you go left here, you get to a number of different bars uh, where you see the Varka sign there. There's a really good bar where they have the football playing every day. I've been there a few times and it's very good value. And after that, on the right side, you've got the Ambassadorsky Hotel and you've got um, a whiskey bar, a special whiskey cocktail bar as well here with the green seats. So this bar is called Pivionia. And what are they offering here on the menu? They're offering surf and turf for 65 zloty. That's about 13 pounds. They're offering um, steak with chimichurri for 60 zloty. That's about 12 pounds. And they're offering Bernenski, which is another steak with a different type of sauce. I love these old cobbled streets. And there's lots of things for children today as well at this festival. You can see all the families walking around having a great time. And the thing I like about this city is the architecture. It's really, really impressive, this main market square. The architecture is fantastic here. So now we're back in the main market square of the city. So straight ahead on the left side, you can see the Mexican restaurant. I do recommend the Mexican. You can get a really good burrito with prawns in for 27 zloty, which is about six pounds and it's absolutely delicious. Center, you can see the town hall of 
Jeshub. It's a really, really impressive building, fantastic architecture. It was built in the 1400s and uh, they did a lot of improvements. It's had a lot of changes and improvements, but it's looking absolutely fantastic right now. And on the right side, there's all different terrace bars and restaurants. Just sit in the square, watch the people go by. It's a lovely way to spend your day. And the stalls today all over the square. So here in the centre of the square, they've got the city well. Uh, they only found that, discovered that quite recently actually. But it looks really impressive in the middle of the square. And it's like a meet-up point here. And in the centre you can see the stage where the live bands are playing all day. It's about 6 o'clock at night. It's the end of September in 2022. The weather's about 16 degrees today. Let's get a bit closer to the town hall. So you can see the best art. So guys, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Travel with Cole. That's with a C-O-L. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.